Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are gonna review the new Apple MacBook with M1 chip. So I have the new MacBook Air, which I got recently. This is this is not something which I have bought, but rather I got it for testing from Unicorn. So shout out to Unicorn for providing me this unit. And this thing is actually damn fast. You can see it like how fast it was when I was opening the lid. Uh, anyway, this video is centered uh, towards mobile app development. So if you're someone who is looking to buy this laptop for running Flutter apps or native Android apps or native iOS apps, then you should definitely watch this video. I'm gonna compare all the results with you as well as I have uh, the 2019 MacBook Pro as well with 16 GB of RAM. We will compare the results with that as well and the, the results are pretty interesting. So keep watching. So let's start. So guys, uh, let's start with the first thing that um, I, I won't take a lot of time of yours. and. Uh, let's get to the fact does flutter work on this laptop yes it does so flutter works totally fine on this laptop however there are some things which you have to keep in mind so it's not like very important but let's talk about it so first thing is that when you use home view for any of the things then definitely it can have some broken experience so or, or either you have to run it through rosetta too so if you are doing that then it works like all of the things uh, kind of works pretty fine for me at least so uh, if you just append your command with arc x86 uh, 64 then it works pretty good um, and uh, the same thing when you are let's say running your flutter app on ios device or some ios simulator or let's say if you want to even make a native ios app and want to you know install it any device then you have to run pod install right and that pod install will not work directly so you might have to use the x86 version of it through rosetta 2 so yeah that's also one of the things which i wanted to mention apart from all these things there were certain issues with some of the libraries in like previously but those has been fixed i guess so personally i didn't face any kind of that that kind of issue at least and the development of flutter apps has been fast so i have tested two kind of apps one which i created newly or i have some big projects as well and i have tested one of them with this particular macbook as well to check the build time as well and to check uh, what is the performance and everything and uh, um, what kind of result i am getting so flutter works totally fine with this laptop that's the first thing which i want to say now coming to android app development which can be related to flutter as well because uh, with flutter you can like you know make android apps as well so a lot of people had this question that if android emulator works or not with this laptop so android uh, emulator works with this laptop but the trick here is that the normal x86 version which comes with android studio does not work because android studio or intellij itself works using rosetta 2 um, and uh, the problem with that is that they cannot run the emulator but the good part is that there is a new emulator which you can download manually which is the arm 64 uh, variant of the emulator but there is another challenge there that it has certain issues like the web view does not work out of the box and if you will go to their website you can find it so you have to install that particular emulator and uh, then you can run it and uh, like experiencing the current application which i have it worked pretty well i could not test everything but yes it worked pretty fine uh, the new apps are working obviously fine and also i have the sample of native android apps as well and they were working fine as well now talking about xcode definitely because xcode is made by apple it's uh, an in-house id by apple so um, there is no such issues with Xcode. It was damn fast <laughs> to be honest and I even compared it uh, with my MacBook Pro 16 inch and the uh, results were quite amazing. I'm gonna show you the results as well. But before that, let's talk about some more facts which uh, like, you know, people generally asked me. Uh, those were like, you know, because it's a fanless machine. So I, I just got hands on with this new MacBook Air, not the MacBook Pro, but this MacBook Air does not have any fan so the problem was like um, you know when you are running big project then what is the case so i can tell you that you know this was working totally fine 
although um i faced some warm issues like you know this was not getting a lot of uh, like heat heat was not there but uh, it was not that much hot when i was you know doing the app development but rather um i i felt some warmness okay when i was testing it so that warmness especially happened when i was using android studio and i was trying to you know uh, run the android emulator as well and uh, opening couple of projects as well but the problem was with the android studio itself um, and there are some issues like it freezes when you open the preference so it is a common issue it's not just about this macbook m1 so when i installed um, android studio in beta that worked perfectly fine so that's also you have to um, remember so that's one thing and uh, the other thing which i want to mention here is that this machine is actually really good for development and i think 8 gb variant should be totally fine and in terms of benchmark i'll show you right now the comparison as well uh, with the build time as well and uh, for um, normal application for uh, the big projects the result of these machines uh, is amazing like uh, these this is like 256 gigabytes model with 8 gigabytes of ram and uh, i don't believe that how fast this is and even i made a video where i live streamed and show i i think i showed you everything which i could in that particular time frame so you can check it out as well the link probably will be in the description but overall i can definitely say this is a great machine for the price you are paying and my personal suggestion if you want to compromise on the ram or the storage then compromise on the ram side because 8 gb ram is perfectly fine with at least with this machine not the previous generation of machines but because of the great chip i think this is fine and because of the unified model which apple is using now uh, it is very very efficient and uh, yeah but but storage is definitely an um, i think a problem because i personally feel that at least you should get 512 gb of uh, ssd storage so yeah keep that in mind as well and now let's talk about the benchmarks so guys if we compare the geekbench 5 score then macbook pro has scored less than macbook air and even with the graphic card uh, macbook pro could perform better but uh, without graphic card obviously macbook air was much better uh, i'm not showing that score but you can check it out so yeah geekbench wise obviously macbook air is a better uh, like having a better chip uh, and if we try to compare the app build times then i am taking the example of now uh, the big apps let's say it's a big project and the build time as you can see with macbook pro 2019 model is 6 minute 4 second for this particular project and the same project can be built uh, using like flutter build ios for uh, in 5 minute 38 seconds so basically m m1 is performing better here even if it is just a $1000 machine and at the other end there is 25000 a uh, $2500 machine so that's that's a difference as well and now uh, let's compare the archive time so when we build for iOS and uh, pr produce archive so it can give us an idea so archive time as you can see so macbook pro took me around 3 minutes and 8 seconds to create the archive but uh, uh, in the at, at the other hand macbook air took me like around 2 minute 55 seconds so again uh, macbook air was better in this case as well but uh, yeah i mean it's it's like uh, they are quite the same both both of the uh, like uh, in both of the cases but uh, uh, mostly you will see that macbook air is outperforming macbook pro uh, and without even the fan noise so that's a plus point here so these were the benchmarks guys and uh, i know like these are quite crazy benchmarks and as you saw that you know the new macbook m1 air actually beats uh, any other good laptop even like my macbook pro uh, 16 inch in terms of build time and obviously it does not have fan and it is most of the time it is cool enough so i never faced that kind of issue and i'm definitely gonna buy this one as well as a secondary machine so the question is that will i recommend you to buy this laptop for app development then the answer is definitely yes and if this is the right time then yes i think you can try it out um yes but i definitely say that you sh if you have a primary laptop like uh, you know the previous generation of macbook or some other laptop then it's all good but i think all of the issues which i personally faced are the software issues and that can be fixed with the time so you you can definitely buy it but my personal suggestion will be that buy at least 512 gb of storage 
don't buy um you know 256 uh, gb of storage because that will be very less and you might have to carry external ssd there is one more problem guy which i uh, guys which i faced was like with the uh, external monitor so only one monitor was working for me uh, another monitor was not working for me so that also you need to keep in mind but i'll create a separate video talking about the pros and cons and everything but for app developer i think this is a really good machine you can try it out the battery life has been amazing so i use it for like eight to nine hours with 20 percent left and i have like installed xcode android studio everything rain projects watched youtube video and lot of things so it's definitely a good option to buy guys please don't think much and uh, if you really have the need then definitely you can buy it and flutter works all good and uh, android studio works perfectly fine there is no such problem apart from the problems of android studio itself xcode definitely gonna work and it's pretty fast as well so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then press the like button subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon to get future updates and also if, if you have any question then you can ask me in the comments so guys see you in the next video bye bye take care and have fun